Hey guys, I'm just out for a nice relaxing bike ride. I'm on some country road that's like empty of no cars on it really, which is kind of good. Because I can have a little fun then. Not too much fun though, but I can at least do like a little bit of this. This is when there's no traffic. I keep my eyes on my mirror here and uh, looking ahead. Make sure there's no one coming behind or in front of me. So I can have a little bit of fun. But well, I've just been out for a couple hours now. It's not too hot, not too cool, just, just right. I like these kind of days when it's, when you can come out for hours and basically just hang outside when it's not too hot out. I, I like these days better than when it's hot out. Cause when it's hot out, you never want to be outside. You're always inside because it's just too dang hot to be outside. And sometimes even dangerously hot to be outside. So there's times you don't want to be outside when it's super, super hot out. So this is the day you would want to be outside. Cause this, this is very nice out today. So, if you want to be outside today, come out now when it's nice out. It's not too hot, not too cold. Just in the middle. So just dry. And this was a pretty long country road. I didn't think of it as being this long country road. It's pretty long. So, huh, I thought it was going to be a short country road and it ended up being long. So, huh, no, not a not short road. Not a short one. Long country road. But I think we're getting to the end of it though. It looks like it. So, I finally got off the country road. I've been on long enough. I don't want to be on country road too much longer. So, we're gonna get off this road. I got no. Get, excuse me, I'm tired. Get into a main road up here. But this is probably gonna be a short video because I don't really got much to say today. So, we're leaving at supper time to go to uh god i can't remember the place uh outback steakhouse i think we're going to to go tonight so that's gonna be fun see the fam again even though i see them like every single freaking day though so i don't know what's any different about this time Probably I get ready for that very soon here, I don't think. So I can go home and get ready for that. Wish my phone was on charge to do it. Now I'll play some Pokemon Go on the way down to the restaurant. So hopefully we'll get some more Pokemon. I just started playing, well, I had the, the app on my phone for a while and it wouldn't work. And when, I, when it did work, I only got three Pokemon. So my sister's got like way more than me right now. So I really have to catch up to her. God dang it. If my phone would have stopped, if my phone would have worked the whole time, I would have had like maybe 50. So I really have to catch up to her. And, uh. Oh, there's a marine up here. A marine lives here. Good job. Support your marines. God bless the marines. 
I damn well like what they do. They're out there every day fighting for us. Good for you guys. If you're if you're a Marine, good job. I'm proud of you. If you're in the US Army, I'm proud of you. If you're in any kind of thing, like Army, Marines, uh, I don't know what all this out there. But if you're in if you're in any kind of like squad or whatever, good for you. If you're, a, if you're a Marine, good for you. If you're in the Army, good for you. I'm proud of y'all. You're out there fighting for us. I'm really proud of you to do that. I would never do that. I'm, I'm scared. Like, it's, it's a scary thing. Sometimes you even make it home. But sometimes you do, and that's good. When you make it home, that's that's when it's really good. But it's still good that you're out there fighting for us. I would never do that though, because I I have a fiance, and I don't want to ruin ruin uh, losing her or anything like that. So I would do it just because I want to fight for everybody out here fight for her if you have any kids fight for them but I really don't want to go out and just fight because I don't want to lose my life but you're you're a hero for what you guys do and that's that's good so I just just I just want to go out and fight and, and not see my fiance when I come home. I, I, want, I want to come home alive. I honestly don't care if I lose an arm or leg over there. I want to come home. I don't care if it's, if it's in the wheelchair. I don't care if I'm on crutches. I don't care if I'm walking. I want to come home. I want to die over there. See, I don't, I don't care. If I lose an arm or a leg, I don't care. I'm coming home to see my family. But if I die, I ain't coming home. Well, I'm going home, just not home where you think I'm going. Back to my family. So, I just don't want to lose my life. That would be devastating. For everyone, because I'm too, I'm very young right now, still 23 years old, and I die young. It does that would be that's gonna be really sad because I'm so young still, and so yeah. So I really don't want to die. Okay, great car. Make it hard for me, but. I just want to come home in one piece, pretty much. I said, I don't really care about this arm or leg. I don't. If I do, I will still be a person. I will be different than everyone else. All the people that can walk, I'll be different. not do that because I just don't want to like I don't mind if I if I could go into the army or the marines right now I would but I I would okay I don't want to lose my arms and legs but I will sacrifice them if I go over like I don't want to lose them no one wants to lose their legs unless something tragic happens to a home. There's a lot of ways you can lose your arms, like car crashes. Uh, I don't really know anything else, really. But getting your arms blown off in the Army or the Marines. But otherwise, I don't want to lose my arms or legs, really. I will sacrifice them. And that's about it. Going over. 
sacrificing my life in my body parts, pretty much is what you're saying. So, yeah. I thought about it before, but I don't know if I really want to. I think I thought hard enough now, like, maybe not. I don't want to, I don't want to die or lose body parts unless, unless I have to. Like, I go over and I get shot in the arm or the leg and they have to take it. But I don't think they do it anymore, though. I think nowadays they can pretty much kill you up and take the bull out of your, your arm or your leg or wherever you get shot at. So I think that can pretty much save you nowadays. Back then, not really. They didn't really save you. Back then, if you got shot, I guess they would they take, they take your leg or your arm or basically killed you maybe. I don't know. I think they saw one back then, but they can't save you. Back then, because they didn't have all the new technology that we have today, so I don't think they could um, save you back then. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't know what it's like. That what it was like back then? I know it was pretty brutal back then, but I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe. Stay.